Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie with the Michael and Angie Foundation, and today I'm going to talk to you about seven things that happened to me when I reduced and eliminated sugar from my diet. I'm talking about processed sugar. I'm talking about mainly processed foods, snacks. Um, I'm not talking about fruit sugars or other naturally occurring sugars. I'm talking about like the Halloween candy. <laughs> Speaking of, we just had Halloween, um, and I was sugar-free throughout Halloween. I think I cheated once or twice, but anyways, seven things that happened to me that I noticed, and your results may vary, but for me, I noticed that my skin cleared up a lot, and it started to get like a more healthy glow and more healthy look to it. Um, number two, I started to lose weight. I noticed that it was easier for me, easier for me to achieve a flatter stomach and lose body fat. And I'm 41 years old. I'll be 42 in January. And I was just starting to think that, you know, maybe this is like the belly fat that I'm experiencing is just a product of being entering middle age. And that this is just how I'm going to look from now on. And, you know, there's not really anything I can do about it. But I found that as I reduced and eliminated sugar from my diet, it was so much easier for me to lose that weight that I thought was just a permanent part of my body. Number three, I lost cravings for sugar and it increased my self-discipline not to eat sugar. So an interesting thing about the diet is that it's intricately linked with the gut microbiome. And I'm sure many of you guys have heard of the microbiome and how important it is to feed your microbiome a good, healthy diet. And one doctor surgeon even says that stomach fat specifically is laid down to feed your white blood cells, which come in to try to fix the situation going on with an unhealthy gut. <laughs> so if you're feeding yourself unhealthy foods, junk food, fast food, snack foods, you might be laying down stomach fat for that reason. And um, also another thing about that is that your gut flora is sensitive to your diet because there are certain bacteria and microorganisms that can live in certain environments and ones that can't. And so if you're living on a diet high in sugars, then certain less advantageous um, bacteria and um, microorganisms will start to flourish. Um, for example, candida, you can get a candida overgrowth from too much sugar. Um, and we know that there's other, definitely other diseases that can arise from too much sugar in your diet. Um, but back to the microbiome, when you switch your diet, you start to populate your gut with a new set of microorganisms, ones that are going to support your health, ones that are going to work with you and not against you, ones that are going to help you thrive from the inside out. And that's really cool because when it comes to cravings, when you start eating healthy foods and stop eating sugars, you will eventually lose the craving for sugar because the organisms that were depending on you feeding them sugar are going to die off. And so they're, they're going to stop sending those signals and those cravings. But you will start to get a taste for healthy foods. And... Um, so along with that was my increased self-discipline. I made it through Halloween, being very good, good. And um, yeah, I just feel like I have the willpower to resist the social temptation often to indulge in unhealthy snacks and foods, especially around the holidays. Um, and then my next point, Number four is I enjoy the flavors of a more diverse variety of foods. Um, for example, I appreciate the subtle flavors of different fruits 
and I appreciate spicy flavors, um, salty flavors, and I feel like when you eat a lot of sugar, it kind of throws your taste, sense of taste and preferences like off balance because sugar is so sweet, it's on the far end of the spectrum, that it kind of like takes your meter, like your internal meter of what you like and like just sways it heavily towards the sweets. In other words, having a sweet tooth. And I notice when I cut out those sugars that other flavors started being much more appealing to me and I could appreciate them more. And uh, yeah, so that was an interesting thing to notice that I wasn't just always thinking about sweets. Um, the next thing, number five, was improved mood and energy. And I'll give you guys a funny example. Um, if you guys have been with me for a while, you've seen my video on the turtles, the chocolate turtle recipe. And the funny thing was, was I was making those a lot for a while. And in preparation for that video, and I was going to send them with Michael to his job and he could share them with his coworkers. And I was trying to start a business selling these. Um, but the crazy thing was, as I was making them, I was also eating them. <laughs> and I got to a point where that's all I wanted to eat because they were quick, they were there, they were delicious. And like I said, like my taste was thrown off. Like my sense of taste was like, I just want that. But the bad thing was I got so sick after a few days of just eating those. So, so sick and lethargic. Like my energy was so down. It was crazy because one day I realized I need to eat something else. And it took me all the energy that I had left to get Eric ready and in the stroller and just walk to the store and get some fruits and vegetables and just try to do something to remedy the situation that I got myself in by eating too much sugar. Um, so I've noticed that I'm not having these dopamine spikes and crashes from the sugar rushes that I used to have. So I'm feeling more even keeled and that's really great for someone like me who's diagnosed bipolar. I'm not, have, I'm not getting hangry, I'm not getting moody. I have more sustained energy throughout the day. And also it takes more time to, time and planning to prepare healthy meals when you're not just reaching for sugar for a quick solution. So it also trains your brain to be more long-term thinking and planning when you have to plan out what you're gonna eat for the week and how you're gonna sustain your energy. Number six, it also helped to support and reinforce other healthy habits such as um, my other video on Wim Hof method. It's the same thing, like the self-discipline to go into a cold shower. Like those two support each other because I'm on a new phase of my life where I'm taking care of me and trying to be healthy and trying to do the best things for me. And so I'm trying to be my best and these two kind of support and reinforce each other. Also um, having good energy and clean energy in my body. It helps me get motivated to do the things I need to do. I like take care of Eric as a single mom, take care of the house, just all those kinds of things. And the last thing that I noticed, which was kind of unexpected, I didn't really think this was gonna happen, but I think it's kind of interesting, was the reduced and eliminated the need for deodorant. Just so funny. Um, I used to be the type of person that needed deodorant every day. And I started noticing lately, after being on this diet for about a month, um, I didn't really need deodorant anymore. And it was just like, oh cool, I mean sometimes like the smell of certain herbs will come through my skin, but other than that, it's really crazy how um, not eating this, these processed sugars and things that you're not really supposed to eat and it's not really the best for your body. Um, your skin is not needing to eliminate that and your, you know, your lymph nodes and whatever in your underarm area, um, the bacteria on there is not having like the nasty sugar stuff to feed off of and you just have a more clean system and it exudes through your skin. Like it, it permeates your whole body. So inside and out, inside good gut bacteria, outside your skin, your skin elimination system, 
All of that is working much better when you're feeding yourself a healthy diet and supporting your overall wellness for your body. All right, folks, that is it. That um, wraps up the seven things that I experienced when I cut out and eliminated sugar, processed sugars from my diet. Please leave me a comment if you are on a similar journey with your health and what works for you or what changes you've noticed in your body. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you're new here, please remember to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.